Dave the pickup artist. Uh, yeah, we did some pickups this week. Uh, got a couple of albums. Hope everybody had a good week. Starting to warm up here in Jacksonville, Florida. Dip, dip, potato chip. Uh, the other day I hit up a uh, local antique store uh, not far from here <laughs> and uh, found a pretty cool blue chair. I think this may be the first reissue I ever picked up at an antique store. I've uh, wanted to get the uh, an OG copy of this, but I found this, so I could not not pick it up. Blue Cheer, the great what Blue Cheer. Ta -da. This is in mono on, of course, Phillips. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, I always wanted to get this on. I've got, of course, I've got all the blue cheer on CD. I've got most of the blue cheer on vinyl, but uh, it's good to have this copy. And I'm still looking for an OG copy of it. Um, great band. This is a fantastic cover, too. Sorry about the word. But uh, yeah, glad to find that and put that in my collection. Uh, still filling in the holes in my uh, Bowie collection. I picked up, uh, I can't believe I haven't had these two in my collection, but I uh, finally got uh, Diamond Dogs. <laughs> this is a, uh, uh, these reissues were made in Britain. And meet this climate crisis. It's on the, uh, Parlophone label. You are fake news. Not only did I get a uh, inner sleeve with this, I also got a anti-static inner sleeve. <laughs> now, this is a classic Bowie album. Apparently, this is the uh, uncensored uh, version. <laughs> As you can see in the uh, photos above, there's two different versions. Uh, one they apparently uh, blackened it in, but this one is I think the uncensored version, which you you really can't see anything in either of the versions, unless the diamond dog was uh, hung like a tick. But uh, yeah, it's a great album. You know, I'm glad to have this in my collection. Now I only need uh, pickles. Our pickles are wonderful things. But uh, yeah, great, great to have this. And the other one I got was uh, uh, Young Americans. <laughs> uh, this one uh, Bowie wanted to, this is sealed, I'm keeping it sealed. This one uh, Bowie wanted to do a uh, Philly Soul album and he actually uh, went to Philadelphia and uh, hung out in Philadelphia, hired a band of Philadelphia soul musicians and uh, made this great album. It's his uh, Philly Soul album. And <laughs> I have a uh, never before seen photo of uh, Bowie actually writing this album. As you can see, he was uh, a fan of Coors Beer. Like Bowie drunk more Coors Beer than Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> I wonder if Bowie had a Philly cheesesteak when he was there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a great album. It, a lot of people don't like it because it's kind of soul dance stuff. <laughs> but uh, I think it's got, I think, uh, listen to Young Americans. That's a great Bowie vocal performance. So yeah, check this out. We've got uh, Carlos Alomar on guitar on this one. <laughs> The wonderful thing about pickles, our pickles are wonderful things. I uh, got, got this in the mail today. I think it's probably one of the greatest psychedelic albums ever. The West Coast Pop <laughs> Art Experimental Band. Ta -da. This is on Tricolor Reprise Label. Ta -da. And yeah, this is volume two. Line dog face pony show. And I think it may be their 
best album. What's the lotion on its skin? Um, yeah, psychedelic, uh, they were anti-establishment lyrics, and uh, this guy was the leader of the band, but he uh, actually had no uh, musical talent. He, he didn't play anything on it. He played uh, tambourines and a megaphone, basically, but <laughs> he financed it. He was a, uh, his name was Bob Markley. He was the son of an oil baron who became an entrepreneur and he would throw these lavish parties in, in California and he'd have bands like the Yardbirds uh, show up and do gigs. And he was amazed, not at the talent of the Yardbirds, but at the uh, their ability to draw uh, women to the show. <laughs> so he decided to form this band. And uh, yeah, he hired these two guys, the Harris brothers. They, these guys on the right and left were two brothers. And... Uh, at this point, they were a three-piece, and uh, they actually had, I, I heard that Al Blaine, or Hal Blaine from the uh, uh, Wrecking Crew drummed on this, so. Now the cover, you can see, that's actually an art, a piece of art. It's a, uh, a silver bathroom that the band is in. I don't know if you can see that. A bathroom made of silver, it was a, uh, in an art gallery or something. But uh, yeah, this is a great album. I think it's their their best album. Uh, pick it up. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. And yeah, these great pickups. Not too many pickups this week, but they're, they're very good. And I'll see you again real soon, BC. Take care. FBI, open up!